Hey folks, it's Jim from Me Movie Wine here to review National Lampoon's Vacation starring Chevy Chase as Clark Griswold, an ad executive who becomes consumed with taking his family cross country from Chicago to Wally World, a California amusement park. Clark has it all planned out, but what kind of comedy would it be if everything went as planned? Of course everything goes terribly wrong. Move to Hollywood to make a franchise out of a comedy and suffocate it, but the original of the Vacation series is a lot of fun. Not necessarily a sharp film or one that is focused, Vacation connects with viewers for their ability to recognize the truth about Vacation following a family with a square father, a patient but Debbie Downer wife, and two bickering kids. It's complete and utter hell. More and more today, families tend to fly to their locations of choice and do exactly what they want to do. Nothing, which leads to relaxing. I don't think I'm a part of the last generation to take part in road trips, but it does appear to be a value Americans, for better or worse, have lost. I will say that those terrible road trips do make for interesting and funny stories later in life. My family and I were just discussing the other week about a three-hour trip to Vermont on vacation to see a Ben & Jerry's factory. A Ben & Jerry's factory. In retrospect, we probably wish we stayed on the lake. That's what this film embodies so well. Based on the story of Vacation 58, which John Hughes wrote for National Lampoon magazine, Vacation provides gags that are obvious, but rather funny, and most of them land. The film may only seem dated and tired because it's influenced so many other comedies. Vacation also has one target audience, white suburban families. This is evident in its depiction of African Americans within a dangerous neighborhood. Not entirely surprising from Hughes. I'm not necessarily attacking him, it's just a mere observation and criticism about a mostly talented writer who caught a big break with this film and went on to write and direct Sixteen Candles, Pretty in Pink, and a much better road trip flick, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Beverly Day Angelo is patient as the wife while Anthony Michael Hall makes his debut before he was in films like Sixteen Candles and Breakfast Club as the son Rusty. Omajin Coco plays the nasty Aunt Edna, a character whose name would make anyone gulp. There's a lot of recognizable faces here like Eugene Levy as a shady dealer, a young Jane Krakowski as a family member, Randy Quaid as Cousin Eddie, strapped for cash, and John Candy as a security guard for Wally World. Chevy Chase, however, when he was really funny, carries the flick and puts on a happy face as the father, who was probably ready to snap, but tries to not let his family see it. From tourist attractions that aren't that appealing and tend to rip off on his families to a claustrophobic station wagon that goes through all sorts of hell, Vacation succeeds mostly on a relatable factor with Hollywood absurdity, but also remarkable honesty. Occasionally, as you watch it, you'll be thinking, that's so true, I've been through that. Also has Chevy Chase dancing with Christine Berkeley in her prime, so there's always that. That's it from the movie you want. Have a good day, folks. Until next time.